Stony Brook University. To begin working with processing.js, first you must launch processing and add the processing.js mode. To do so, click the Java tab in the upper right corner and select Add Mode. From here, select JavaScript mode. This is going to allow you to convert your current sketch into a processing.js sketch. Click Install. Once the installation is finished, you must restart processing in order for it to take effect. I'm going to do that now. Once you've relaunched processing, go ahead and open the sketch that you'd like to convert to JavaScript.js. I have mine in a folder on the desktop labeled Final Project. I'm going to open that. Now, this is a similar sketch that you saw previously with the sound cues removed. I've removed all the sound cues because Processing.js does not allow external libraries to be used. Therefore, the Minim library will not work with your sketch, and even leaving the code for the Minim library in your sketch might break your Processing.js sketch. Select the Mode selector and choose JavaScript as your mode. You'll see that the window refreshes, and now it says JavaScript at the top, and the colors have changed here. Now, in order to export this as a web-ready set of files, select File, Export. This is going to create a new folder called web-export. In here, you'll notice a few things. You'll notice your project file, the index.html, and the processing.js. So, what we want to do is place this file on our web server. If you have a web server and you're familiar with that function, just simply upload this folder and the index.html will be your address for your file. But that's an optional step. In this course, we're not assuming that you have any experience with a web server or web development at all. So I'm going to show you a workaround that's simple, free, and can give you a quick way to test and see how your files may look on the web. To do this, I'm going to use a service called Dropbox. Now, if you already have Dropbox, you can skip ahead in this video to where I've already installed Dropbox. But if not, I'm going to show you how you can get a Dropbox account for yourself very easily. First, go ahead and launch your browser and navigate to Dropbox.com. From here, select Download. Dropbox will automatically begin downloading the proper file for your operating system. When the download completes, launch it to begin installing Dropbox. I'm going to go through the installation process here. Now, if you already have an account, you can say, I already have an account and log in here. But if you don't have an account, you can select, I don't have a Dropbox account and click continue here. From here, you're simply going to put in your name, email, password, the name of your computer and click agree. I'm going to do that now. Agree. You can choose typical. You can skip this part. And you can select skip tour as well. And finish. You may need to type in an administrator password to continue. When you open your Dropbox folder, you'll notice that you only see a getting started.pdf. If you're already a Dropbox user, you may have a public folder, and that's what we're going to be using for this. But if not, you're going to need to request a public folder for your Dropbox account. To do so, launch a web browser and navigate to dropbox.com slash enable underscore public underscore folder. From here, log into your newly created Dropbox account and select sign in. Click Enable Public Folder. You may need to verify your email address to do this. Now, I've gone ahead and skipped ahead and verified my email. You can now enable the public folder. I'll click Done and go back and click Enable Public Folder. Great. Now there's a public folder in my Dropbox. I can close Safari now. Now you'll see that I have a public folder in my Dropbox account. Now, we can test out our sketch by dragging the Web Export folder into our public folder. Wait for the files to sync, select the index.html file, right click, and select copy public link. 
This link is now copied to my clipboard, and I can paste it into Safari to view the page on the web. Once the page loads, you'll be able to interact with your new processing.js sketch. You'll see that if I click and drag on the screen, I can draw. If I press the number two on my keyboard or three, I can change colors, but you'll notice that because I've removed all sound elements, there are no more sound elements located in this sketch. Now, if you're savvy with your own web server, you could have placed this web-export folder on your own web server. Additionally, you can rename that web-export folder or the index.html files and place them as hyperlinks on your own portfolio. So, this has been an overview of working with processing.js. I showed you how to add the JavaScript mode how to export your project as a JavaScript set of files, and then how to install a Dropbox account for easy hosting of those files, adding a public folder to your Dropbox account, placing the exported processing.js files, right-clicking on the index.html, selecting copy public link, and then you can share that file with anybody else.